just a, such, such nice play here by both sides, but I think Thu just really continuing to innovate like he always does, and uh, Batrider are coming out now, but uh, obviously Batrider, I'm not a huge fan of Batriders against um, Heavy Air from Undead, obviously if, you, if your opponent goes for something like um, Gargoyles, I think it's pretty useful, but if uh, something like um, Destroyers, you, you, it's, you're sort of taking a risk, because a good coil coming in, and uh, just if you can't quite do enough damage and you've wasted your entire army, your, uh, your opponent can TP out and heal up very quickly, obviously with that high level death knight, and uh, you've really you've lost sort of a whole lot of units. And I'm really not a fan of going for a combination of um, bat riders and headhunters for the same reason, really. Just in that if you get a whole bunch of headhunters and a whole bunch of bat riders, you use all your bat riders and then your opponent TPs out before you can finish the job with headhunters, you've lost all your units and your opponent has probably only lost a couple of theirs because they have a few high um, health units. As opposed to a lot of really low health units. Those bat riders do get used. Uh, one of the destroyers goes down. Another one is that sort of I'm um, still pretty high hit points. And you can see I don't think those bat riders really did enough. Even there's there's no armor upgrades here for Thu. Uh, and I think uh, actually Yumiko does have one armor upgrade if memory serves. And uh, yeah, he does. And uh, no attack upgrades I think on either um, melee or ranged. It wouldn't make sense to really have one at this point. And a stomp coming, a very nice stomp coming in here by Yumiko, but I think he's really um, been put a bit on the defensive now. A nice attack coming in here, com combined with some really nice positioning on that Blade Master. Uh, he's almost level 5 actually as well, and level 3 crits can be so useful for trying to um, take out that uh, Lich, who is actually at very low health because of a crit there, and a coil coming in at the last second as well as a Frost Nova, or Frost um, Armor eventually. But this um, uh, Blade Master needs to be careful, he's not going to get focused down. Cripple being used on the Blade Master, who does eventually level up, and actually it's just the Cripple's dispel it as well, because uh, Yumiko knew he wouldn't be able to get away either, anyways. And, um, this Torrent Chieftain does actually have a great, uh, have, does actually have a mana potion on him, which is going to be pretty useful to be honest. I mean, Stomp is just so, so useful, and uh, these, um, Casters do have a, a tendency just to uh, bunch up a bit uh, when you have them all in this one control group like Athu clearly does. And uh, Blade Master here at low hit points, and there is a shade around, and it looks like we're actually seeing a transition to air units here, and uh, by that I mean sort of wind riders, which is really interesting. I think it's a good choice by Yumiko. He needs to be careful though, uh, because you just need to be, uh, you need to micro them so well. And I think the problem is, is that he's come in too late with this, uh, with this ch strange, with this change, sorry. And um, the Death Knight and uh, Lich are just too high levels. Nova is so good. Against um, uh, against Orc Air and a uh, coil is pretty good as well because it just does so much damage. That Blade Master does get focused down and this is looking very very bad here now for Yumiko. Even though he can push a bit now, I think uh, he will be able to turn around and uh, just uh, start to focus down individual units. And this is going to be so so bad now for uh, Yumiko who really has to tavern back that Blade Master before Thu can do too much damage to his base. I think uh, Thu. Uh, probably not going for this coal mine because there's almost nothing left in it, and uh, he prob will, probably will go for it eventually. This blade master coming back at the altar, but I can't believe he's getting him back at the altar. This is a crazily thing, a crazy thing for him to do. I guess Yumiko just doesn't have the money at this point, and I think um, this is going to be really, really bad here. Obviously, uh, Yumiko will be able to do a whole bunch of damage to these casters at this point, but Cripple being used on those Wind Riders minus 20 damage on them. Look at that. That's just so, so bad, and looks like I've. Uh, will be able to uh, clean up these really low hit point units and I think he will be able to take the game at this point. Actually going for one gargoyle as well, this is quite a nice move because it's going to tempt Yumiko into building uh, uh, bat riders. If he's doing what I think he is at least, then um, it will tempt Yumiko into building bat riders. I'm very nice stomp there, but uh, it, it if he, um, but if Thu doesn't build any more gargoyles then that's going to be a complete waste by Yumiko and uh, meanwhile that uh, that Gargoyle will be able to do a whole lot of damage. You can see Gargoyle just put out so much damage to other air units, and it looks like so many skeletons here uh, will be able to do a whole bunch of damage now to uh, what, <laughs> what remains of Yumiko's base, but there's really not much worth damaging at this point. Thu really needs to just make sure that he stays on the outside of the base, uh, doesn't do a huge amount of damage, doesn't get caught in any unfortunate positions, and I think this game is his at this point, and such nice play here by uh, Thu. Really a very deserving win, and this um, this is just sort of a sign of the tremendous play. I'm not sure why they were playing off race. I mean, it's probably because they're um they're friends or something. They just decided uh, it's more fun to play off race, and it certainly it, it's um it was a pretty balanced uh, game considering that Thu certainly is more skilled than Yumiko, although not by leaps and bounds. And certainly uh, Yumiko is a very talented player, but um Orca certainly uh, still has a win percentage advantage against Undead. So it's um. It just worked out so well. I think a really enjoyable game, and I wouldn't be surprised if the Torrent Chieftain gets focused down any second. Actually, no, a Raider getting focused down now instead. And uh, Thu looks like he's being revealed. I guess he sold off his buildings. Not too big of a surprise, because he just wanted to have a bit of extra economy. But what a game. What a truly fantastic game. I really hope you enjoyed that, folks. Uh, it'll probably be about a week and a half till I get out my next commentary, but I really hope you enjoyed this one. And, um...
please check out my, sort of my back catalogue really if you're uh, desperate for games. I have a whole bunch of games out there and uh, I'll see you later folks, thanks.